Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new version of Book Creator that was designed to be used in your web browser. Now, the Chrome web browser will work best, and you should note that this is still in beta, but let's go ahead and take a look at it so far. I'm going to sign in with my Google account here. And now let's go ahead and start a new book and we'll choose the layout that we want to use for our book. Now it doesn't really matter which layout you choose, all the features are the same regardless of the layout you use. So I'm just going to use the portrait layout for now and we're going to create our cover. Now to add something to the cover or to any page, use this plus symbol in the upper right hand corner and you can import information. You can turn on your webcam if you want to. Uh, draw text or even record some audio. Let's go ahead and import an image and I'm going to use an image here. And now we can click and reposition the image. You can drag and expand it to fit the space allotted. If you grab this green spot up here, you can also reposition it. Let's go ahead and move this up to the top. Now let's add some more in the form of text. And we'll just create a cover for interesting places I have visited. And we'll drag our text down onto the page. All right, let's go ahead and add the next page. Now here's our layout. And we'll add something else. Again, I'll do an import, and I'll add this image, and we'll center that on the page, and I can add my text on top of this, you'll notice I can hyperlink my text if I want to as well. Let's leave that up at the top for now. Now let's add some more. Let's add one more image. Right. And again, I'll add my text on top of this. Now let's add one more page just so I can show you the option for using my camera. Hello. You can see I can take a picture or record a video. Let's record a quick video. The previous two pages showed you some interesting places that I saw when I was in Alberta. We'll use that video and add it to our book. Again, click and drag and move it into the position we want. Now the other way we can add content to the pages is you notice over here we can use shapes. So if I want to add some call outs in the form of a speech bubble I might put something over here or a thought bubble. Might say something like, wow, 
That was not profound. And we can go back to the previous page. Move my text around. We go in and we can add our shapes there as well. And I could add my speech bubble right on top of Pinto McBean. Now, when I'm done, let's go ahead and click the play symbol. And now we can scroll through our book forward and backwards. We can look at it in individual page style. And now to share it, we can publish it online or download it as an ebook. You can see that printing is a feature that will be coming before too long. Again, this version of Book Creator is still in beta. Let's hit the publish online. And now my book is published. Now if I've made a mistake or I decide I don't want to publish it anymore, I can hit the unpublish button. Let's go ahead and view it online. And so anyone who has the link to my book will see it just like this. So that's a short overview of the new browser-based version of Book Creator. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.